you better believe that a picture is worth a thousand words. So your YouTube thumbnail is worth a lot more. This is the first impression for your audience that's gonna get you those clicks, views, subscribers, exactly what you want. So stay tuned. In a sea of YouTube videos, how do you get yours to stand out among the clickbaity titles, the YouTube celebrities, and the obviously hilarious cat videos? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how. So let's go over to my office, I'm gonna show you. Before we get started, we're gonna make the thumbnail for this video, okay? This is how to make great thumbnails for YouTube. Go! How do you get your videos to stand out and make people click on yours instead of all the others? Well, today I want to talk to you about why your YouTube thumbnails are so essential to your long-term and overall YouTube success. And if you want to skip the guesswork and be so efficient on YouTube like me, if you click the link below, I'm going to show you how we create 60 days of social media and video content in only eight hours. So click the link below to get that. So here's the thing, you're scrolling on YouTube, you're searching for a video and you see all these options. Like there are over 4,000 hours being uploaded to YouTube every single minute, which can be really overwhelming when you're trying to find something that you wanna watch. So how do you pick what you wanna watch? Typically you can go with a name that you recognize. And if there's not a name you recognize, then what do you look for? The thumbnail. You look for that engaging image that caught your attention, that maybe you get to see some of the personality or get a glimpse at what the video is going to be about. Now there are some key elements you need when creating a thumbnail and I'm gonna show you every single step of the way, how you can do it yourself, how you can outsource to find someone to do it for you and how to get the video thumbnail that gives you the best click through rates. Now, before I go into all that, what does that even mean? What's a click-through rate? Why is that important? Now, here's the thing. When people are looking at their YouTube analytics, they're looking at typically the views, the subscribers. Yeah, that's all great. It shows us that people are watching, but what's more important is looking at your click-through rate and your watch time. That means the retention, how long people are actually watching your videos. That's also the metric that YouTube is looking for to make sure that these videos actually have authority, that they're keeping people on their platform. Why is that important? Because P YouTube is going to reward the channels and the content creators that keep people on the YouTube platform. So when they see that people are watching a lot of your content all the way through, and when they see that people are clicking your thumbnails compared to everyone else, it's gonna boost your videos in the ranking and allow you to show up in front of more people when they're searching for content like yours. So the goal you wanna aim for when it comes to a click-through rate on your thumbnails is 4%. And if you look at your analytics and you don't see that 4% number, time to go back, redesign the thumbnail, and try again. The great thing about YouTube thumbnails is you can change them out. With YouTube videos, learn from it, see where people are dropping off, and make a better video next time. You do not wanna delete a video and re-upload it because we wanna retain all of the, the ranking stats we have, the likes, the comments, views, so hold on to that. So what makes a thumbnail click-worthy? I'm so glad you asked. You wanna have a big image of the subject or whatever it is you're talking about, or if you're the face of your videos, have a picture of you, and then the title next to you or another image that demonstrates what the video is all about. Now, when it comes to the text, also make it big and know that your thumbnail is pretty small. So if you have anything that's too small of text, you're not gonna be able to catch that person's attention. Now, when you're putting words on your thumbnail, also know that you do not have to put the entire title of your video as the words on that thumbnail. So if you have a video, for example, that's like how to train your dog, you don't have to have the full how to train your dog. You could have puppy training, or you could have a picture of your puppy sitting and maybe a little speech bubble that says, sit or something like that, that it demonstrates what the video is about without having to take up all of the space. A really great channel to look at how they do their thumbnails is Russell Brunson's YouTube channel. His thumbnails are my favorite to study and to look at for inspiration. So to recap, you wanna have a big picture of yourself or whatever the subject is of the video and words or demonstration that reiterate what the video is about. Now, if you're someone that's like, I'm not that good at graphic design, I don't know how to design a thumbnail, I'm gonna show you how you can either do it yourself with little to no graphic design training or outsource it while still not spending a lot of money and saving your time. One of my absolute favorite programs to use is Canva and you'll see on my YouTube channel, I have tons of Canva tutorial training videos so that if you wanna learn how to do graphic design or if there are little projects you have to do that you don't wanna outsource or just wanna be able to do it in house, that will teach you exactly how to do that. Canva has already 
YouTube thumbnail designs, templates that you can use and just replace the words, replace the pictures with exactly your branding. So I'm gonna show you exactly how you can do that. So this is the Canva homepage and right here you can click what do you, would you like to design and if we start to type in YouTube, you'll see there are awesome templates that you can design your channel art or your thumbnail. So let's click on thumbnail. And as we get in there, you'll see that YouTube already has amazing templates that you can just plug and play and use right here. So you'll see all these templates are even themed. There's for music channels, for food channels, beauty, tutorial. You can scroll through here and look at all of the options. So let's just look in the food YouTube thumbnail ideas just, just for this example. And you'll see there are so many ideas. You can just keep scrolling and scrolling and finding so many more. We can even go down to tutorial videos and there's tons of options that you can use. Pay attention to where this says free right here because there are some thumbnails and some templates, some images that you can use that are paid. So if you wanna do it for free, you can absolutely use these. So here's one, we just actually talked about how to train your puppy. We can use that one and work with that. So as you'll see right here, because there's watermarks, this is one that you have to pay for. So what we can do is keep this because this is a great template. I like that the words are big, the picture of the subject is big. What I can do is delete the image. My text is still here, although you can't see it. I'm gonna change the color just so that you can in this situation. And what we can do is go to elements and look for photos and I'm gonna look for a puppy. And look, here's another option. Let's pop that one into place. I'm gonna drag it to fill up the full screen. I'm gonna position the image behind the text. There we go, how to train your puppy, ready to go. I can download it to my desktop and use it right on my YouTube thumbnail. How easy was that? Now, if you're someone that you're like, I'm still not interested in doing that, I'd rather outsource it and save my time, you can use sites like Upwork or Fiverr and find people who are so skilled at this, who are amazing at making thumbnails. All you have to do is put up an ad exactly what you're looking for or there's tons of people on Fiverr who are already advertising their services as YouTube thumbnail experts and you can pay them as little as five dollars. Now one last thing, when you're uploading a video and if you don't see the option for how to upload a custom thumbnail, it's because you haven't verified your channel yet. So all you have to do is go to youtube.com slash verify, enter your phone number, it's gonna send you a text to make sure you're not a robot and voila, you'll have the ability to upload your custom thumbnail every single time. So this is really important and remember getting that 4% click through rate on your videos is what YouTube is going to see to know that your video is successful, has authority and keeps people on their platform and as a result is going to boost your videos in the rankings and show it to more people, which ideally is what we want. We want to use YouTube as the search engine it is that when people are looking for the content that you provide, the value that you can give them, that they're going to look at your videos every time, potentially binge watch your other videos and then become a raving fan, maybe even a customer and, uh, and, and love your content for as long as you're putting it out. So I can't wait to see all your amazing thumbnails and the success on your YouTube channel once you crush it with your thumbnail design. And if you need more support, I have a Canva guide in the link below how to make amazing designs and save your time and money in the process. And also we're gonna teach you how to create 60 days of social media and video content in only eight hours. If you want that, you can also click the link below. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up, comment below, and of course subscribe for more weekly videos.